Hey, how's it going everyone and today I'm back with another video. This time it's just to sit down and talk commentary where I express my opinion with you guys about something which has been on my mind for a long time. It's the Call of Duty cycle or just the Call of Duty hate cycle. So basically let me start off with an example. You go back to the launch of Black Ops 2, everyone is like this game is awesome, the best Call of Duty ever. They were in that honeymoon sort of phase where everyone's really enjoying the game. It's a new game, it's a fresh Call of Duty, everyone loves it, everyone's having a lot of fun. And within about 5 months or 6 months or maybe 4, uh, it's been reducing progressively, uh, that people say that this game is getting stale, it's getting boring, there's nothing to go for, no more, no new, no Moab, nothing like the Modern Warfare 3 series. It's really slow paced, it's boring and we go back to playing Modern Warfare 3 where we have Moab and we, we have some more fun. So then comes the launch of Call of Duty Ghosts and within the honeymoon phase sort of gets over within about 2 months and people are like this game is really bad, really slow paced, the weapons kill too fast, there's no balancing and it's a really boring game, really slow paced, maps are too large, that was the main complaint I think. And most of the community felt like that because they were and they did not enjoy the game naturally because they weren't doing well and they were not able to adjust their playstyle to a different game, which was Call of Duty Ghost from Black Ops 2. In Call of Duty Ghost, you can't literally just run out with an SMG, run and gun, have some fun. Uh, but you need to be a bit more tactical and have a little more passive approach towards playing to do well. And naturally, a game which you do well in is a game which you enjoy a lot. And in my opinion, Call of Duty Ghost was my uh, game where I did the best in in all the Call of Duties. Um, in Black Ops 2, my KD was horrible, 0.8. In Ghost, it uh, rose up to about 2.4. I was able to adjust my playstyle to be a bit more passive and, you know, play tactically, think and play and not run and gun, which I used to do in Black Ops 2. And naturally, my KD improved. I learned the spawn. I learned, I learned to use sound to my best ability and gave you guys tips also as you guys may have seen from my videos um so i really enjoyed that call of duty naturally because i was doing well in it and yeah my favorite game mode was free for all and that is when i started to get into playing free for all but that's a different point here so then comes the launch of advanced warfare everything was really hyped up people were hyped up for advanced warfare because ghost was supposedly the worst call of duty ever and everyone hated on it uh so they wanted something new something different and Advanced Warfare brought exactly that, a fast paced Call of Duty, which was really, you know, it is really good, but yeah, so then, the, uh, what do you say, the hype, everyone's happy, the new Call of Duty is coming out, and we are about a month in the Advanced Warfare, and I really love the game, I'm enjoying it a lot, I'm able to adjust my playstyle again, I have some fun on the game, although there are quite a bit of issues in my opinion, bad connection, spawn systems, etc, etc. Now I already started to see a bit of hate for Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty in general. People are saying that this series is dying down in terms of sales because it's going down about 25% since Modern Warfare 3 as Theo Venom brought it out in his video. Videos. That was a really good video. Uh, if you're watching this, yeah, I'll give you a compliment. But that's beside the point here. So. Yeah, right now everyone's in the honeymoon phase for Advanced Warfare. I'm loving the game, everyone enjoying the game, although there are a lot of BS in the game. But yeah, so let's see how this Call of Duty turns out. So this is what I wanted to talk about. And you know, maybe after some time people are gonna go back to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Which is supposedly the best Call of Duty right now, if they don't like Advanced Warfare. But that is all what I want to say. And also many people say that Call of Duty is the same thing all over again. And what makes Call of Duty unique in the first person shooter space, in my opinion, is its multiplayer, hand down, probably one of the best and most fun multiplayers to play a social experience, the game chat, the competitive feel is literally blowing up and everyone's enjoying multiplayer and that is why we come back every single year to play some more multiplayer on Call of Duty, uh, so yeah. And my answer to people saying that it's the same thing every year, why fix it when it, when it ain't broke? So Advanced Warfare did quite a few changes to the multiplayer but you know, gave that essential feel of 
Call of Duty and the same multiplayer experience. It was awesome because people wanted a change and they balanced that really well in my opinion. But there are definitely issues. There's issues with every single Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2, which was supposedly one of the best Call of Duties in the whole series, was, you know, had its share of issues like the nuke, tu nuke tubes and everything else, uh, which people hated, but still people enjoyed the game. Now, nothing is perfect in life and yeah, these games are really fun to play and that's what they're meant for. But anyway guys, this is just my opinion, I don't want to invite any hate. Probably I would have ensured like 10 dislikes on this video already, but whatever, I just want to share my opinion with you guys and don't be hesitant to share your opinion too in the comments down below. So comment below your opinion about the Call of Duty cycle, whether you think the series is dying down or whether you're still enjoying Call of Duty as a whole and I wouldn't be, you know, don't be afraid and hesitant to share your opinion down below and I'll see you guys in my next video, I'm out.